If you ask Joe O'Callaghan, there's a common thread that connects health workers and first responders. I think it's almost an instinct where you you find yourself running into something where other people might be running away from it. The retiree spent much of her nursing career overseas, working in war zones and climate-torn countries, but now she's ready for another fight. I've dashed off to all kinds of parts of the world to help in disaster situations and conflict situations, and here I am sitting at home, um, and I think it's now it's time for me to do something here. O'Callaghan is ready to answer the call to join BC's COVID-19 vaccine workforce. On Tuesday, the province announced it would be bringing in retired nurses, pharmacy technicians, dentists and midwives to help administer doses. The order meant to keep BC on track to reach its goal of getting most British Columbians vaccinated by September. So we are very excited to be able to have uh, the the workforce that we are going to need over the next six months to ensure that we can get vaccine into as many people as wanted in this province as efficiently as possible. The move has been applauded by dentists across the province, like Victoria's Dr. Ross Crapo, who's used to serving injections. The more uh, that we can get this out and into the arms of people, uh, and the faster we can do it, the better. Uh, and we're already qualified. With thousands of dentists and hundreds of midwives across the province, there are hopes that those workers can fill gaps in underserved and remote parts of BC. Certainly having midwives uh, sprinkled across the province helps with access and helps really locate that and mobilize that workforce available for doing vaccines. And with more than 600,000 vaccines set to arrive in Canada this week, the demand for workers is sure to follow. My husband and I, anyway, we're healthy, we're vigorous and and ready to jump in and I'm sure that's the way a lot of other people feel. The province has yet to outline how eligible people can sign up but plenty of arms have already been raised. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.